welcome to another episode of It's Tip Top Fishing. My name is Keaton Ditchfield and today we are here at Ridgeflay for two reasons. Number one, because I want to fish. I want to fish and get out there before I go to Cape Town for a long time. When I say long time, I mean two and a half months. So I'm here to use these, the Shimano TX7s and my Shimano LCs and then all their delicious castingness. So I'm here to do that and then I'm also here to test out my camper because I have done an episode of did I make a big mistake buying the camper and the second episode is fixing the camper and then now we are testing it. So we've got a little bit of rain forecast and hopefully it'll, it'll do well in the rain but we'll see. Either I'll sleep well or you'll see me suffering. And yeah, let's get to the episode. The trailer towed like an absolute dream and arriving at Red Play it was time to find the perfect spot. I enjoy fishing the slope, especially because you can reach the opposite bank and if you cast far enough you can reach spots that other fishermen can't. Although I feel like the locals did not like their new neighbor. Then I tied up a few rigs with a Ronnie rig on the left with a strange fruit stealth pop up on the right, a Brandon main rig with a DT bait with a new flavor that I'm testing and then my favorite, the semi stiff hinge rig with a pineapple pop up, all of which had a little piece of foam to top it off. Then on all three rods, I used a four ounce distance lead to cast the distance. Using my Shimano TX7s and my Shimano LCs, I cast across the dam to about five to 10 meters from the opposite bank. I find that this distance from the opposite bank allows for patrolling carp to find my rigs. With that done, the sun set and it was time to get comfy with my trailer. Sitting outside for some of the evening and then sitting inside for the other part of the evening, I was super comfortable and super happy. With rain predicted later on in the evening, I was excited to test the waterproofing that was done to my little caravan. Very, very, very angry little common. Very upset with me. Fought really well, but looks really, really healthy. What a lovely, lovely fish. How nice. This was caught on a stealth uh, strange fruit boily that I put into some mulberry mix and yeah what a lovely fish let's put her back Bye. so it is time it is that time of the morning to make some breakfast breakfast ciao while I'm making breakfast I thought I would tell you guys about how this thing is faring my little camper, my little camper. <laughs> oh, sometimes I crack myself up. Um, yeah, how's it going? Um, last night we had some rain, which is a good and a bad thing because I don't really like rain, but it's a good thing because I could test it in situation, not just testing the waterproofing with a, with a hose pipe. And um, yeah, sorry, I'm just starting my little tutai cooker get this butter melting um, and it rained and I was dry as a bone I don't know why bones are dry but I was dry which is great it is flipping comfortable I did have to put it on a brick to make it level basically you park it almost where you want it to be put a big brick in front of it and then drive it onto it I've got to leave it hooked up to the car because it doesn't have any brakes but yeah but otherwise long story short it was very very comfy I did enjoy it quite a lot. Um, I'm still getting used to it, to be honest. I like I want to put this here, put there, and then try putting things in different places. I'm still getting used to things, but at the moment, it is very comfortable. Yeah, I was I was super warm and super lacquer. I've got my Morpheus Ultra Seven like uh, sleeping bag that is just the best thing since sliced bread. I've been in very cold temperatures, very warm temperatures, and I'm cozy every time with that thing. I've got my battery in it, that a battery system that I've made in it, but it's a bit difficult to um, see um, how much charge is going in from the XR Solar uh, solar blanket. Man, that thing, the XR Solar 200 watt blanket is just the best. Because uh, I, I built my own system, because I'm a bit of a DIYer. So I built my own um, solar system and I had two 100 watt uh, panels and those 200 watt watts of panels weighed a lot 
they, they took up the whole space of the roof of the seven foot trailer that I used to have. Um, as well as I couldn't take it anywhere. Now with the XR Solars one, I can pretty much take it anywhere I want to take it. It's foldable, it's light. And then in terms of the power production, I have gotten 11 and a half amps from it. Um, so that it was, it really, really produced really, really well when I needed it to. So I'm very happy with that XR, XR Solar's blanket going into my 105 amp hour deep cycle battery. I don't have the ideal uh, charging situation in terms of I've got a PWM charger on it instead of an MPPT. But for what I'm using at the moment, it's really good. It's powering the Flex Adventures fridge and my lights on the inside. Yeah, it's doing absolutely great. I'm really, really, really liking the setup. But yeah, time to eat some breakfast and, and chill a bit. I'm gonna get some admin from work done. And uh, yeah, doing good. So the morning became the afternoon and the birds ate the leftovers of my bait mix. The rods were very quiet and my theory is the fish at Ritflay school and they patrol the opposite bank between 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock at night. Why I say that is that you get a run on your left hand rod, then your middle and then your right and then from your right, middle and then left. Okay, so that's it for this episode of It's Tip Top Fishing. Um, with Ritflay it is tradition to be chased away by weather or last time I thought it was dangerous which it's actually not. Thank you guys for commenting and telling me it's not dangerous. And then today I'm getting called away for work. There's a, there's a weather front coming in now, but I've got my camper and it, and it was dry. So I actually don't care if it rains or not. But yeah, I've got to get some videos off to some clients. Um, but yeah, got to get this year running because it's February, just it's the first of February, either tomorrow or today, I can't remember. So got to get this year running. So thank you so much for watching. Comment. Tell me what you guys think of the little camper. Um, tell, you, tell me what you guys think of Ritflay, um, what, what methods worked for you, because yeah, that, that rig uh, worked for me. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate your support. And till next time, tight lines, guys. <laughs>